Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I love it if you would subscribe down below for beauty videos. So today I'm basically doing this glam, and I'm also including my hair portion just because I got this new hair tool and I thought it was super cool, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, basically, I'm getting ready for my best friend's going away party because she is going away to France for exchange for school for a couple months. Um, and she's leaving in a couple days, so she's having a little going away party. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm also doing this makeup for New Year's, so I thought I would share with you guys as well in case you're looking for some New Year's inspo. This is the makeup I'm going to be doing. So basically, that's it. Um, if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so hey guys, I apologize for this glare like right here. I think it's my Van Weed lights like at the top of me. Anyways, so I'm just gonna look at myself because I think that's what's the easiest thing. So I literally feel like I'm talking to myself right now. So I'm getting ready for my best friend's going away party. It's tonight and it's because she's going away on exchange for school for about five months in France, which is super exciting because I get to visit her in February. Maybe I'll vlog that. Like, I think that would be so fun. So yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for. I'm first gonna be doing my hair, which is why I have you in this whole setup thingy, and then I'm gonna move on to my vanity. But yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna start with the hair. I usually don't do my hair on camera. I think I've done it like once or twice, but I may be doing a different hairstyle today because I got this um, three barrel thingy uh, for Christmas, and it actually makes my hair look super good. So I want to show you guys how that looks. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna get started with that and then we're gonna move on to the makeup. So my hair is actually straight because I just had work um, today, so I straightened it for that. So I'm just gonna be going over it with the three barrel. I did turn my straightener on. The straightener I use, I actually ordered this on Amazon a couple months ago and it's absolutely amazing because my old one was like super old. Um, it was like $35. I'll try to link, I'll link it down below if I still have the link. Um, but it's Canadian site, so just um, if you're from the US, just make sure you note that and like see that. And this three barrel one is the, um, why is there no name on this either? It's C-K-E-Y-I-N. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But yeah, is this one on? Nope, it's not on. Now it's on. Um, but yeah, so it looks like this. I'll start with the bottom part. I'm gonna show you guys a couple times what I do and then I'm just gonna fast forward. This, um, I will say, literally takes forever to do because you have to wait for each part of your hair. Like it's, it's so like, I don't know, it's just really time consuming. So I would not recommend this if you're ever in a rush. Um, only do this when you have like a bunch of time on your hands. Get it in for like 30 seconds. Depends how thick or thin the the por the part in the actual the hair crimper is so this part's pretty thin so I'll just like leave it for a bit if I was doing a thicker part I would leave it in for about a minute you can literally do the same thing with um, braiding your hair overnight and like letting it sit I used to do that but um, when I braid my hair it goes like really poofy instead this is like more tamed so it looks like really good so yeah I'll actually put like a towel over my shoulders just to show you guys after in like a white towel so it like shows better. So this part that I'm doing right now is like way thicker. Like I sectioned it pretty thick so just to like cover it quicker um, so I'm leaving it in for a little bit longer. So basically it's super simple you just wait for it to do the work. Um, I'm gonna put on some you on netflix because the new season's out and it's guys if you have never watched you which i'm assuming you have definitely watch it and if you haven't watched the second season i don't know i just started like that if you haven't watched the second season highly recommend it as well it's amazing so i'm gonna start watching that finish my hair and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna do my makeup we're gonna start with the brows um if i don't mention a product or like what i'm using I'm gonna um, have it down below in the description. So I'm gonna be starting off with my Browsing's Benefit powder. This is in the shade number six. I'm gonna be using my ColourPop angled brush. And my face is already primed. I use the Glossier Priming Moisturizer just to moisturize, obviously. So now I'm going to be um, carving my brows out with my foundation. So I'm using the NARS Long 
Radiant Foundation per usual, my favorite. And I'm using the Morphe M224 to carve it out. I'm matching my foundation to my neck and my hands. And also I'm gonna be using this foundation with my Morphe M439 buffing brush to apply it on my face. So now I'm going to be cream contouring. Um, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm in the shade 30. And I'm using a Maniso buffer brush to buff it all in. Okay, now I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Snow. This is like my favorite concealer and it was actually on sale for Boxing Day, plus another was 20% 20, 20 off uh, for Sephora Rouge. So like I literally got it guys for like, um, I think I got it for like $27 like with tax and everything, which is pretty good actually. And I'm just buffing it in with the same brush I used to buff my uh, cream contour out. So now that the face is all set, I'm just going to spray with some Mario Badescu Rose Water. And then we're going to go ahead and start um, bronzing and stuff. I'm just going to fix my eyebrow because it's bothering me. Sorry. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using my uh, Bomb Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer in Tony per usual. I'm just going to bronze my face up. I'm using a Morphe M527. So just baking with the same Laura Mercier powder. And I'm contouring my nose with this as well. I'm using a Morphe E62 brush. While this bakes, I'm going to be putting on my blush. I'm using the ColourPop blush in... I have no idea what shade this is. I'm going to leave it down below for you guys because there's no way of me checking what it is. So I'm just going to put it on. I'm using a Real Techniques multitasking brush. I actually never really liked super pink blushes, but I've lately been really into them. So I'm just going to kind of blend this in. And then I'm going to use some eyebrow gel. So I'm just using the Essence Clear Brow Gel. taking my nose contour brush and kind of just blending out all the edges of the bronzer to my hairline. So now to contour um, a little bit further, I'm going to be using the Balm Take Home, the bronze. Um, this one's in the shade Grammy. And I'm going to be using, okay, so I just discovered this brush. I bought it from Winners. Winners is like Marshalls, um, Home, I don't know if you guys have Home Sense in the US. It's like um, TJ Maxx, basically. But I think it's only in Canada winners. So I got this Japanese brush. This is a 718. And it's, guys, I'm pretty sure this is for foundation. But that's what makes it so good. It's so dense. Like, it's such a dense brush. It makes your contour look so amazing. I would highly recommend it. It was only $7. I know Japanese brushes are pretty expensive. Um, I think if you buy them, like, regular price. Which is, I think, why I've never bought in one. Um, but... This was this is so good. It's like a steal basically. So for highlight, I had this in my drawer for like the longest time ever. I've always used Artist Couture Coco Bling, but this is Artist Couture um, in the shade. I hate this word. Like I really don't like this word. So I don't want to even pronounce it because I kind of cringe. I'm using it in the shade right here. But yeah, this word makes me cringe. So I'm not going to say it. But yeah, so it's this shade. The Coco Bling has gotten just way too light for me every time I fake tan, so I've stopped using it. I actually haven't used it for like a year or something, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this one, and it's it's been looking amazing, and I've gotten so many compliments. I'm just applying with the Morphe M501 first, and then I'm going to switch over to another brush to make it look like super pretty and dramatic. 
So I'm just applying it to all the normal points. Next, I'm going to be taking the uh, Sephora Pro Fan 65 brush. I highly recommend this brush. I'm pretty sure it was on sale. And I'm going to take it. So this is so beautiful for loose highlighter. It just applies it like so beautifully on the skin. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie palette. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. I'm going to first take my bronzer in the shade Tony that I use with a Morphe M441. And I'm just applying a little bit to the crease. This is also what I'm going to be doing for New Year's. So might as well call it a New Year's look. Because this is literally the makeup I'm doing for New Year's. This is like my go-to going out makeup, I guess you could call it. So next I'm going to take from the Bye Bye Birdie palette the shade Plumage. It's like a dark maroon-ish. I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner with the same Morphe M441. I don't really do eyeshadow really anymore. Like makeup wise as in like going out. I just find it like a lot of work and I just like my smoky eyeliner instead of like crazy eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take uh, Huron Chic, Huron Chic, I don't know what that is, it's like a burgundy, just going to apply a little bit over, get a little different shade going on, um, as you can tell I'm like a pretty messy blender, <laughs> like unless I'm doing like a super precise eyeshadow look, I just kind of let it flow. That's the word to use. I apologize if I was out of focus. I'm applying the glitter, um, the shade Ruffled, kind of like everywhere, just because I don't care if it's like gotten into the crease or anything. I used to really care if the crease was super matte while the lid was like on the sparkly side, but now it's like fine if it goes everywhere. Um, just because my skin, like I was saying um, before I got out of focus, it's on the drier side during the winter so if my face looks more sparkly more glittery more like um with a lot of highlight i like it that way just because i find that my skin just looks more like i don't know just more glowy and youthful instead of super dull so i go for more sparkle i'm just gonna be taking my ColourPop Smoke Show palette with my ColourPop um, E11 brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, of eyeliner, just like a little line. I showed you guys how to do this in my last tutorial. If you wanna go check it out, it's the one before this one. This just elongates my eyes. So next, I'm putting my ColourPop liquid eyeliner on. I just put it in the inner corners. So I'm going to be using my Dota Lashes in D309. You can use my code GlamRay.so for dollars off. Say it with me, guys. been saying that for like four years now. But they are the best lashes in the whole wide world. I was at work the other day, and this lady asked me... Um, like what lashes I was wearing, so I told her, and she's like, oh my god, they're so nice, I want to go order them when I get home, like, that's so cute, anyways, so, I'm just going to curl my lashes as well, so they blend in with my fake ones, I'm using the Balm Mad Lash Mascara, okay, so while I'm waiting for my lashes, uh, lash glue to dry, I'm going to be taking my Essence soft contouring lip liner in sucker for gray this is my everyday go-to favorite lip liner it's like the perfect shade and i'm just kind of overlining the slightest bit i don't go like crazy i just go a bit above my natural line i actually have to sharpen it 
Also, this lip liner is like, pretty sure $2.99 or $3.99. Super cheap. So that is it for my makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked it and found it somewhat helpful. Again, this is a makeup I'm going to be doing for New Year's. So if you wanted a little bit of New Year inspo, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, and yeah, all the information for like my hair tools, my makeup, everything will be linked down below. And all my uh, social media links will be linked down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.